In 2015, when Senator Abubakar Atikuba Gudu took the oath of office as the executive governor of Kebi State, addressing the basic and specialized health needs of his people was in the forefront of his cardinal agendas. This single determination over the years then gave birth to various social and health interventions which made sure that his people were offered the best health attention that could be offered anywhere in the world free of charge. Specialists both home and abroad with the capable hands of homebred doctors and health personnel have been invited and provided the best working environment and facilities in the bid to offer free health care to the people of Kebi State. This effort over the years has touched over 2 million lives and still counting. As the wife of the Kebi State Governor and the mother of the state, a trained and practicing medical doctor and pediatrician, Dr. Zainab Shinkafi Bagudu keyed into the agenda of the governor as she understood how best such services could be channeled and delivered to her people, most especially women and children. Amongst her interventions with her expertise in tropical health, Dr. Bagudu had spearheaded the campaign against malnutrition in Kebi State. One of the not so nice things that I noticed, or I know and I saw it for real, is the high level of malnutrition amongst our children. Literally every child that presents in that hospital has underlying malnutrition. And this was so alarming, we know and we keep doing things to try to change and reverse that culture. But it just seems like we're not doing anything. Uh, we're not definitely not doing enough. For the state, there have been various statistics ranging from 47 to 90 percent prevalence in 2017 and 2018. And the standard rate stood at 60.3 percent, well above the national average of 32 percent. She felt such figures were unacceptable considering the contribution of the state to the agricultural revolution in Nigeria. So I saw so many malnourished children. There's a nutrition room set up there where they give them ready to use feeds. The babies or the children can go there for nutrition supplements. In her bid to combat such stunning stunting rates and also align with national priorities of the President Muhammadu Buhari administration, Dr. Bagudu prioritized mother and child in health care through her brainchild, the Medic Aid Cancer Foundation, which over the years has gone further to offer free cancer and specialized treatment and intervention to as many women as possible and over the span of four years has championed the routine of taking health care services to the nook and crannies of the state across the four emirate councils of Gwandu, Arugungu, Yaori and Zuru Emirates through medical outreaches. Over 5,000 patients have been attended to. The Medicaid Cancer Foundation, it's a foundation that I started 10 years ago, which means it predates my husband's tenure as the governor of Kebi State. Uh, it started as a result of need of women that I was seeing. I'm a pediatrician, which means I see children. And most of the time, children are escorted to the hospital by their mothers in our society. So being a woman as well, particularly practicing in the northern part of Nigeria, it becomes almost synonymous with one profession that you have to have some women issues thrown on your desk. So as a result of this, I started to dabble in women's health and also running a diagnostic center. We were offering tests that screen for breast cancer, the mammogram, and um, we had to offer some assistance to the questions that arose out of these tests. Um, in particular, when women find a lump, we tell them, go and do a mammogram. And then they come back and say, what do I do? They bring their children, they, I finish consulting with their children, and the next thing they shut the door. Oh, I want to show you something, doctor. And they open their veils and show you either a lump or something personal. So as a result of this, I couldn't cope on my own as a pediatrician in my consulting room. I couldn't cope as the CEO of a diagnostic center. 
So I needed help in the form of a foundation that could offer this help to people, to teach them, to make them aware, to help them with the diagnosis, to help them find solutions to the problems that they were finding uh, with relation to cancer. Teams were drawn out from the Kebi State Ministry of Health, the Nigeria Medical Association Kebi State Branch, the Medical Women Association, all in the bid to give back to the people by offering free medical and specialized services. This is not the first free medical outreach that the state government is conducting. They conduct a free medical outreach every three months in Birin Kebi. And that is uh, patients are brought from across the 21 local government areas. So we came up with that idea for the foundation to help the government retain its leadership position. Back on the drawing board, it was captured that an average of 1,000 patients will be addressed and attended to by local government in each emirate, with the plans of the foundation of spreading its wing to other localities in no distant future. But the realities on ground stretched the numbers to be attended to to over 5,500 patients, averaging 2,000 people per emirate. The first spot of call was for Kai local government in Zuru Emirate of Kebi State. The fathers of all the trips covering three hours, 15 minutes via Koko with a distance of 238.2 kilometers. Fakai has an estimated population of about 2,212,000 people. and an average of 2,000 patients benefited from the medical outreach, which ranged from medical checkups, specialist interventions, cancer screenings, nutritional supplements for mothers and children, and many cases that could only have been assessed at specialist levels and facilities. When we are here for an outreach, that involves one, we know very well how much she cared about our people in general. She organized this uh, outreach for us to be able to deliver highly specialized services free of charge to the people of Fakai local government. And this outreach is going to go to about all the Emirates. We have doctors, consultants, uh, specialists in almost all areas of medicine. Shanka local government also benefited from the medical outreach. It took Wuradiga Road with a distance of 158.7 kilometers with a driving time of 2 hours 22 minutes. Via Konto Wuradiga Road. Shanga is under Yaori Emirate Council. Shanga has a population of about 190,000 people, close to River and Yaori and such locations comes with its antecedent medical cases. Over 2,100 patients were attended to. We're here in Shanga to offer an outreach program organized by Her Excellency with the Medicaid Cancer Foundation in collaboration with the Ministry of Health. It has been happening in Brunin KB, but this time around we decided that uh, we should come to the villages, take the four Emirates, Yaori, Zuru, uh, Gwandu and uh, Arugungu Emirates, to choose a local government in particular, then come and gather the people around that Emirate to come and benefit from medical services. There is cancer screen also, uh, breast examination, 
cervical cancer screening as well as uh, women are given mama kits and uh, some consumables to take, help them take care of themselves at home. We are doing our cancer screening for women. Actually, it's not only for screening, but on, also to, to train the community health nurses here or the community health workers assigned in Shanga so that they will continue and this program will be sustained by them. The famous city of Argungu was not left out. The city is the seat of the Argungu Emirate, which has Gulma village as one of the towns under its wings, with a population of about 150,000 people. With a driving distance of over 48 kilometers, which equals 30 miles, over 2,000 inhabitants benefited from the medical outreach that was to last for four days. We do help pediatric cancer patients, but we don't do a lot of awareness around it uh, because the higher cancers, the highest prevailing cancers in Nigeria are the adult ones, breast, cervical, prostate. So we concentrate more on those, but of course we also do pediatric assistance. And so that really helps because Pediatric cancers can have very gratifying results if they get the right treatment. Again, early, and if you get it early, and the treatment is available. So with little effort, you can see children moving around happily back to school and doing their work as they've been used to doing it. The last but not the least on the shadows of the Medic Aid Cancer Foundation Medical Outreach is Jiga Town on the Gondu Emirate Council. Jega is blessed with a population of about 300,000 people. With a driving distance of over 48 kilometers, which equals 30 miles, the geographical distance from Birninkebi, the state capital, to Jega is 32 kilometers. All this distance covered to take free medical attention, consultation and specialized services to the people of Kebi State, free of charge through the Free Medic Aid Cancer Foundation outreach. So far so good. The conduct have been so well organized. We came in here as early as 9 a.m. in the morning and we virtually went through the hospital and we make sure we set out the arrangements of the patients and we've been able to conduct in a very well-mannered organization and the nurses are also helping out so we're having a good conduct compared to the last one of the main aims of such free medical outreaches organized by the Kebi State Government under Senator Abubakar Atikubakudu, further complemented by free medical outreaches organized by the Medic Aid Cancer Foundation, funded by Dr. Zainab Shinkafi Bagudu is to offer free specialized health services to the less privileged people of Kebi State, absolutely free and taken to their doorsteps. Worthy of commendation also is the effort by Governor Bagudu and Dr. Bagudu to provide to women of rural communities local energy saving stoves considering the inherent cancerous dangers smoke may cause to women. The state program officer for the International Fund for Agricultural Development, Mr. Joel Aiki, had more to say on this climate change adaptation initiative. We received support uh, in terms of uh, counterpart funding from the state governor of KB State, Senator Abakara Chukubagudu. Uh, Using those funds, we've been able to access some technology uh, in the area of climate change, resilience, and adaptation. Her Excellency, Dr. Zainab Atikubaguru, is actually the one that is uh, promoting uh, the use of these stoves, uh, which, in fact, 
was able to provide in KB State. And uh, it has a device that removes smoke from the cooking environment. So which means that our mothers, our women, our wives, they will have a smoke-free environment so that uh, this issue of uh, cancer caused by smoke uh, is actually checkmated by the use of uh, this kind of uh, stove. So this is a really nice project coming from His and Her Excellency because it's really giving uh, the women more information about how to take good care of their, themselves when it comes to reproductive health system. We've increased the number of doctors, the nurses, even the logistics officers. So far, so good. They are quite impressed with the crowd they found the last outreach and they are willing to come and support Medicaid in this outreach. And yes, they are really helping us. They are volunteering to help Medicaid and even the, why on the humanity here in Kebbi State. The call I have for them is that uh, the, this present government is really keen in helping people, especially those that have uh, medical problems. Even if we cannot solve a problem now, you can still come to the hospital, your problem will be looked at and you'll be advised accordingly on where to get help. And as you know, there's a office of the DMS where you can forward your complaints, a genuine complaint for your medical uh, problem, and the state government will look into it and offer the necessary solution to it. So we uh, advise the patients to use this opportunity come to the hospitals, the PHCs, they are always open, the doctors are ready to help all the time. In general, the foundation, I would say, has been very successful. Initially, we started operating in Abuja and environs, and also some northern states like um, Kebi, Sokoto, Zamfara. A few in the south, we've been to places like Apia, uh, Ibadan, Lagos in the past, and even currently. And then, of course, Kebi State had to become a focus because this is what I do. And I found when uh, we started interacting with people at the grassroots that there was a lot of misbeliefs and superstitious ideas and um, information surrounding cancer. So the foundation also has an office in Kebi where we try to create awareness we help with the diagnosis, we have an MOU with the government when they want to screen patients, we help them to do the screening, uh, we help them uh, see through the patients so that they can validate the real ones and exactly how to go about it. We have an MOU with the Usman Danfodio Teaching Hospital Sokoto where treatment can be sought and obtained more easily than currently in Kebi State. Uh, so we do all this with the hope that we can improve the lot of people. We also run a school health program which has been extremely successful. We're targeting the younger generation, trying to help them get the information that they need so that they can be equipped with that um, information and help, it helps them to make the right informed decisions later on in life, particularly about their health. We're doing this as a foundation, we're not doing it for profit. This is not the first time we've done this in Kebbi State, even when she was not a governor's wife, she was just a managing director of the organization and the founder. We hope that the citizens of the state will not look at it to another perspective, that we're doing it for another reason. So far, so good. We are doing it for God and for humanity, and we hope to do more with the support of the citizens here in Kebi. Beneficiaries were so full of praises for the governor's wife, Dr. Zainab Shinkafi Bagudu, and her efforts towards taking basic and specialized health care to her people and rural communities. <laughs> Allah shibia na kodi Allah shikara kawan cena ya kara mana imani ya ci yau mun yi gudun ciki da kun ka zo na an ka taimake yara da da aruma mun gode Allah shibia mun gode malikita mun gode ma Allah kuma Allah ya kara malikita basira a ban biya kudi ba kyauta haka ba ko na ji dadi na gode ina ga kira ga sauran mata wanda ba su lafiya su ma su yunya su zo kurin likita don su ma gani Allah
muna fatar yadda ai suka yi muna ubangiji Allah ya taimake su ba su nasara kuma Allah ya kare shirin makiya da muhasada Allah ya daukaki mikin nan nata shi koma shekara hudu shi muna aiki mun gi dadi kuma mun gode da wanga abin da yake na gode kwarai gaske ubangiji Allah ya kare nasara mulkin ga yake kuma ubangiji Allah ya kare mu nasara gare shi mun gode mu Allah mun gode miki matan gwauna So the foundation has been good. Um, I thank God for his success. I thank God for the support that we receive from people from the government of Kebbi State generally. With all these efforts meant to complement all the free health outreaches being conducted at state level, organized by the state government led by Governor Abubakar Atiku Bagudu, the health deficit being inherited by the government over the years is been curtailed and will be a thing of the past in no distant time.